Hey guys, today I'm answering a question from another Sonics owner. So let's get into it. Have you ever watched an air show routine and just wondered how the heck they get them to smoke like that? Today's question that I'll attempt to answer is on the components of my smoke system. Now once again, I did not build the airplane, I did not install the smoke system, but I'll give you a quick overview of what's installed and hopefully this will help you determine what you need to put one in yours. We'll start right here at the oil tank. And here you can see the upper and lower fittings. Brass 90, plastic hose, brass T, top of the tank, bottom of the tank. So we can feed whether we're right side up or upside down. And right after that we have our 12 volt pump. As you see there's only two wires going to it. Simple 12 volts in line. And then we have braided plastic hose afterwards. Comes through the rear there around the back of the seat pan and up to up to this ball valve couple inline fittings there for adding the hose. Follow the hose up on the right side here and then just goes right through the firewall there in between that rudder pedal. Don't know if I would have done it that way or not. Come out of the firewall here and the braided line come up to a steel line That then comes to our oil injector. Here on the rear exhaust pipe on the, on the right bank. Close up on our oil injector. See we have some redundancy. We have a brass fitting that attaches to the bung there. Then we have a hose clamp and then we have some safety wire. All of this is good to know because you're yanking and banking. I wouldn't want this line to come out and then put oil all over a hot engine. Probably wouldn't end well. So thank you. Thank you to whoever installed this for all the redundancy. I appreciate it. The oil gets injected into the exhaust there and that's where she starts smoking. Follow the exhaust out. On the rev master, we go four pipes right into one here at the collector, and then out the exhaust pipe. Of course, if you were to install a smoke system, you've got to be able to control it. Turn on our master switch. Here I have a smoke master switch. We turn that on, and then down here on the stick, I can access this button with my, my pinky finger. And when I hit it, you'll hear the, the smoke pump turn on. And I'll hit it again and turn it off. There it is. All right, let's cut that off. Cool stuff. Smoke master off. Master off. Now how well does this simple DIY system work? I really couldn't tell you. I've only run this engine on the ground and without the canopy it might be a little dangerous to go ahead and start working the, the smoke system. We'll get her flying and make sure everything's working right and then we'll play around with that. I don't feel right ending this video without seeing somebody Sonex smoking like it's meant to. For that we're going to cut to a video by Tom Hebe who unfortunately flew west just a little too soon. Smoke on. Be sure to head over to Tom's channel to see the full length video in all its glory. Thanks for watching.